Okay guys, today we've got a bit of a world exclusive. You've never seen the contents of this box. This is sent over as a top secret package from Doji, and apparently it is indicative of the next generation of smartphones. Let's crack it open. All right, so far impressions are that this is a very small and surprisingly light package. Don't forget this is a prototype we're talking about. This isn't a final retail release, so it's not gonna have charger, cables, none of that. And I'm sure this package is gonna be a lot more interesting on the inside than it is on the outside, so let's get it open. All right, yet more packaging on the inside. Clearly someone did not want this to get damaged. Now, the strange thing here is you might have heard of the Doji Mix 2. This is Doji's successor to, I think, the surprise hit that was the Doji Mix 1. Well, you might expect this prototype over here to be for the Doji Mix 3. That would make sense, right? Well, it's actually for number four. So it's somewhere in this process, we seem to have skipped a generation, but if anything, that makes this a little bit more exciting. And even the box is equally as mysterious. It's completely black all the way around, no text, but it has the same feel and texture as a smartphone box. All right, the device is on top. And to be honest, I would say it's surprisingly well presented given it's a prototype and given that a lot of these Chinese phones just come in little anti-static bags. It's got a little tab that helps you pull it out, very nice. A box underneath, which we'll expect in the final version to include SIM ejector tool, instruction manuals, etc. But right now it's completely empty. There's also a little bag in the bottom, which is a pretty funny way to actually present a screen cleaning cloth, but it's here and it feels pretty good. Okay. Moment of truth, and I don't think I've ever been this excited for a prototype, but inside that red bubble wrap, we've got the product in an anti-static bag. So let's take it out and get a bit of a closer look. The first thing you've probably noticed is that it has a dual layer sandwich design. And there's a very important reason for that, which we'll get back to in just a second, but this has some implications for the thickness of the phone. The Mix 4 is planned to be 11 millimeters thick, which is quite a bit more than phones like the S9, the S9 Plus, Google's Pixel 2. But because this phone is almost 100% screen on the front, it's much smaller in other dimensions, which makes it still easily pocketable. Nothing is confirmed with the camera except for the layout, which has dual rear facing sensors and a flash just below that. And the design is simple, it won't bowl you over, but at the same time it's refreshing that it's not just another iPhone 10 copy. Okay, here's what all the fuss is about. You can slide the smartphone down to reveal what most smartphones have on the front. And this slide mechanism, I have to say, had me skeptical, but it is surprisingly robust. The metal frame snaps into place and you can hear a reassuring click every time you adjust position. And this is not necessarily an inconvenience. They could make it so that every time you flick the phone down, the camera app will open with the front camera on. The only thing this might potentially interfere with is automatic brightness because when the phone is tucked away, that ambient light sensor is hidden. One thing I was definitely a little bit worried about was that introducing moving parts into a phone can create flexing, creaking, more things to go wrong but they've done it surprisingly well. This feels like a solid, single, uniform object. But this all begs the question, why would you bother? Well, as soon as you take one look at the front of the phone, it'll all make sense. This thing is approximately 97% display. We've got one tiny sliver of bezel running all the way around the phone, which, to be honest, puts the S9 Plus to shame. And even though the dimensions of the Mix 4 are so much smaller than Samsung's offering, the display size actually isn't. Whilst the S9 Plus has a bottom chin of about 0.6 millimeters, the Mix 4 has just over 0.1. And Doji has said they're planning to use their best AMOLED panel yet on this phone, which combined with that screen to body ratio could be something pretty incredible. And ironically, could very well threaten Xiaomi's Mix lineup, which is the lineup that actually inspired the original Doji Mix. Now you've probably also noticed this little icon over here. This fingerprint icon is a suggestion that the company in their final model is gonna use an on-screen fingerprint scanner. Which leads us to the question, when are we actually seeing this device? Well, if we factor in that the original Doji Mix and Doji Mix 2 were about six months apart, and that we're expecting a Mix 3 somewhere in the pipeline in the next couple of months, I would say somewhere towards the end of the year, which would be exactly one year after the Mix 2. And the last bit of information I received from the company was that they're planning to use a Snapdragon processor, which would be a huge departure in the right direction and a sign they're trying to take the Western market a little bit more seriously. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it interesting, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. That would really help me out. And let me know what else you wanna see on this device. We could potentially tear it all down and see how the sliding mechanism works and if it's gonna hold up over time. 
Anyway guys, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out. <laughs>